Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Thursday, May the 2nd, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I'm here to read for us the selection for today from Hearing God Through the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson that is based on Dallas Willard's book, Hearing God. Today's entry is entitled, The Choice to Speak. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. The book of the prophet Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. Does the word of God literally overpower us and compel us to speak? Occasionally, those who speak with God seem compelled, such as Balaam. Balak, king of Moab, knew that Balaam spoke in unison with God. Those you bless are blessed, and those you curse are cursed. That's recorded in the book of Numbers, chapter 22, verse 6. So he offered Balaam great riches and honor if he would curse Israel. Balaam was tempted by the offer and kept toying with this with the idea. He went along with Balak but found he was unable to curse Israel. He explained, I quote, I must speak only what God puts in my mouth. Numbers chapter 22 verse 38. Only a stream of blessings came forth. Numbers chapter 23 verses 7 to 10. But this does not mean that the person who speaks in unison with God, and thus speaks the word of God, literally cannot help speaking. The individual's compulsion to speak, though often great, is normally still resistible. Human beings are not mere tools or robots. To reflect, Ponder God's enormous respect for the will of a person and God's unwillingness to violate it so that he or she is a mere tool. People may choose whom they will serve. Dear friends, as always, I thank you and commend you for taking just a few moments out of your day to listen to one of these devotional reflections written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. It's my pleasure and my blessing to read them for you. And I get as much out of them as you do because I too listen and contemplate and mull over these ideas. So to reflect, ponder God's enormous respect for the will of that person and God's unwillingness to violate it. Those are important and deep things. And I pray that you'll take the time to do that. I'll put some information for you in the description of this video. And I also pray you'll be with me tomorrow when I'll read the next entry uh, from Hearing God Through the Year. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.